Hey, so in this video I'm going to show how to configure an agent to only respond to particular requests, which is useful uh, for chatbots. So if you have a chatbot that you only want to respond to uh, technical support queries, uh, something like that, um, then this is a way you can do that. Uh, so, okay, so I've already got an agent partially set up. So let's go into settings. Uh, it's called Gem. It's using our default model at the moment, which is the uh, Gemma model. Um, okay, so I've got a connector set up, which is connected to my local IRC instance. Uh, there's other connectors you can set up, such as Discord, Slack, Telegram, GitHub issues, IRC. Twitter, so on. We'll leave that as it is. Okay, and then in the filters and triggers page, which is a new feature I'm just adding at the moment, uh, we've got a classifier set up. Um, and there's, you know, you can have multiple types of triggers or filters. Uh, we've also got uh, the regex filter. Um, so with this you can do something like uh, respond to at and then we can put in the bot's name or some custom syntax because um, on IRC you, you'd usually just put the name without the at symbol but you can add it if you really want uh, to have it only respond to when the at symbol's there let's get rid of that because that's pretty boring let's talk about this classifier filter trigger okay so let's say like usually um, we just want it to you know to ignore most messages because uh, it's pretty expensive to um, run the full large, large language model um, every time someone asks a question or you know every time somebody somebody says something for example if we were in, in a chat room and someone just says hello. Uh, we don't really want the um, the bot to respond to that um, unless we want it to be very chatty. Um, if we go and look at the, uh, oops, wrong thing. We go and look at the status here. Uh, you can see, yeah, hello was just filtered and that's as far as it got. Um, so going back to here, so we can see that, that basically the classifier didn't respond to that. Um, so the classifier also uses a large language model, but it uses a much smaller one than the, the full one we usually use. So we usually use a 12 billion parameter model. Uh, maybe if you have better hardware than me, you might be using a 32 billion parameter model or 72 billion even or you know, whatever. Well, for this kind of task, for just for classification, a 4 billion model will work, um, or even a 1 billion parameter model will work a lot of the time. So, I mean, this is this is much, much smaller, and uh, you can even run these on CPU. I'm actually running it on GPU. I have two models loaded into my GPU. Um, but yeah, it runs much, much faster on GPU. So, I mean, you can take a reasonable volume of, of messages with a model this small and just classify the messages. Um, and so what we're classifying it with is uh, we're just we're saying, you know, is this uh, a question and is it something that can be answered by searching the internet? Um, so, I mean, we can ask it a question like, hello, How's it going? So I've asked it a question, um, but it shouldn't respond to this. No, it got to the filter and that's it. So, yeah, it won't respond to that. But now let's let's ask it something that that you know you might be able to answer by um, searching the internet. So. Prowler's real name. So what's the Prowler's real name? Let's go and look at the uh, what's happening. 
on the uh, status page, which I previously did a video about. Okay, so we can see this time it got past the filter, um, and it's come up with a with a an answer for that. And if we go and look at our GPU usage, yeah, we see Hobby Brown and Aaron Davis. Okay, so basically what it did is it is it did a it decided to do a function call to Wikipedia. Um, and then responded using some of the content from from Wikipedia. Okay, and that's it. Um, you can combine filters uh, as well. You can decide to make them a trigger or a filter. The only difference being that triggers only one trigger needs to be activated, whereas all filters need to pass, and that's it. So, short video, I hope you enjoyed it, goodbye.